Okay, here's an update of where I've got to so far with the motor control for R2-D2. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, Sabretooth controller, as you can see on the board there, and the Siren. Sabretooth controller is going to control both motors, uh, both main wheels, and the, the uh, Siren will control the dome, but I haven't really got around to... Uh, um, programming that side of it up at the moment. I'm just running 12 volts at the moment because uh, it's just simply uh, simple uh, at the moment. It will be running 24 volts and I will have a step down 24 to 12 uh, uh, controller in here as well, converter in here as well, which I've got but I haven't actually wired in. Uh, so this whole setup is running 12 volts including the, the feed into the um, EZB controller, uh, which is, uh, let me just swing around, you can just see it in the corner there, that's the EZB controller, um, so it's, as I say it's just one SLA battery at the moment. Uh, I've built uh, this backboard uh, for control, um, which will slot in the back of the R2-D2, which I'll show you in a few minutes, but uh, this is all just built out of um, um, chopping board, which I think loads of people have done, which you can also cut up really easily. Uh, so I've got the uh, mounted on here. I've just got a, um, a a meter, which has got voltage and current and power and energy. It's the same meter I used in my um, InMove robot. Uh, got a master on switch that that's not used. These switches at the moment are controlling these relays here. So. Um, you can see them just switch off uh, if that gets on the camera. Just move the camera forward. It's going into a slightly better position. So that's the master switch. I'll, I'll um, keep it on at the moment because otherwise we'll lose um, connection to the EZB controller and then we'll have to uh, re-log on again. But um, So that, that controls the, the main power coming in through that switch. Uh, then these uh, that one powers up both motors. Uh, I'm going to slightly rewire this the way the switches work at the moment uh, because at the moment I've got uh, the next two switches disconnect the outputs of the two motors but that's having slight problems so uh, one switch will disconnect both mo uh, both main motors. Um, you can see the relays just coming on in order down there. They're all running off for 12 volts. Again it's all a bit in um, um, change mode because I'm going to the master relay which is that one which is running off that switch is triggered from the power itself which is going to be 24 volts obviously unless I put a secondary power supply in um, and the rest of these are going to be 12 volts so I'm just waiting for a 24 volt uh, relay to go in there so it's the whole thing's running at 12 at the moment uh, and as I say I haven't got my step down uh, converter to uh, go from 24 to 12 to drive that so um, it's a um, wired in sort of a um, partial method at the moment anyway. Uh, so power in uh, through the meter, there's a clamp, um, uh, current clamp at the back there which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, switch it on, power to these two, outputs going to uh, cabling, which, are, which is down here but I can show you um, more detail later. Uh, and I've just also got the smaller dome motor there which is um, not properly programmed up at the moment but it, it does run if I run it off the siren. Um, not controlling this off the um, method a lot of people are using with the uh, Arduinos and the uh, um, there's, there's a, um, an R2G D2 program which I'm not, I'm not doing it that way I'm going to be using my own little uh, ECB controller. Um, I've got, if I just swing up, you can see on the uh, on the screen there, uh, which is the control program. This is actually a downloaded version straight off ECB's website. Um, a couple of people have put this up on 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 there uh, how to control it. So I've just literally just got this working. Uh, I was just messing around with the dip switches to to. Um, to get it both systems to talk. I managed to get that working. Um, so I do have power to the system or control over the system. There's dip switches uh, you've got to set on there. Um, I tried various different dip switches, different recommendations, but I actually ended up using the Dimension Engineering. Um, there's a, a dip switch setting wizard uh, and uh, that got it right 
first time. So <laughs> that was that was by far the simplest. If you do want to know, I'm running um, at uh, all all the um, dip switches one to four are off and dip switch five and six is on. Uh, and that's working. I'm not sure the board rate I'm running at the moment. I think I'm running at, uh, yeah, I'm running at 9600, um, which is the slower. You can up the board rate, obviously, um, but I think the simplest way to do that is you can get into, you can USB connect into there and use their little software program. So I will be controlling this whole thing with a, a joystick. I've got a Sony PlayStation remote, uh, which I use. I have actually got that to work in the past uh, with the uh, EZB Builder software when I was uh, controlling um, um, just servos and various things just as a test thing. So that's, that, that worked really successfully. I haven't sort of um, gone that far at the moment with this setup, but I will do. So obviously with the controller, you can... Um, with a joystick you can push forward so both wheels will go together and left and right and whatever and this software is set up for that i think it's actually set up for uh the microsoft joystick but um i'm not too worried about that i'm sure i can sort of work all that out but i've managed to get this to actually run as i say which uh, it hasn't taken too long but it was a bit confusing with the tip switches okay just pan back very slightly um i've just got uh the uh two uh um wheels mounted upside down at the moment left and right or whichever way around they are um i do have the tire for that one i just haven't put it on because i finally got around to printing it successfully so there's still quite a bit of work to do on this i'm just holding them together so they don't fall over uh they're wired up um if i go into forward i think i'm going forward that's actually left and right let's just go forward or back so that's both running together That's running the other way. That's on stop. I haven't got these speeds um, um, uh, worked out properly at the moment. Uh, there's a way to um, obviously change that. But I, th I think that will be more dependent on the amount of joystick control I do. So I'm not too worried about that. But that's something I've got to look at, um, look at so I don't uh, crash the thing. Um, you can run it as a tank, obviously. So that's one wheel going one way. And that's going the other way. Let's just try that. Yeah, and that's working. Stops working one way. And the other way. And stop. So I've got control over it. So that was the main thing. Uh, the dip switch is all right. The board rate's obviously talking. Uh, so the sabre tooth is, is controlling those motors correctly. Uh, uh, as I said, I still need to add in the joystick control, work out the maximum speeds, um, if there's a way to do that. Uh, just get my head around the software a bit more, because uh, it's just a um, straight download off the EZB website, uh, which I've just changed the uh, board rate on, and that's about the only change I've done to it. I can add in audio to it, obviously, which I'll do. Um, so that that's really where I am. I'd, obviously, I need, as I mentioned earlier, back onto the pan around there back onto that i've just got to do quite a bit more work on this i'm going to change the, the way these switches work slightly um change that to 24 volts so then the whole ch power up sequence will work slightly differently um or i might have a keep a, a separate 12 volt battery to run the easy b off and the the logic off which could be a simpler approach because again I, I know somebody would have done that so in other words you've got two 12 volt batteries uh, running as a 24 volt feed and then a third one just running as a 12 volt but i do have a step down a unit i bought so we'll, we'll probably i'll probably do it that way at the moment um got fuses in here this is bought off amazon you, you can if you look at amazon you'll see them there's just an automotive uh, relay um there's, a, there's another relay that can go in there complete with uh, fuses so it's like a built-in unit um these are just on uh, uh these are actually at, mounted on uh stands by evil um on thingiverse uh which i'll put a link he's done quite a few sort of mods and stuff these hinges here again are his 
well, uh, these brackets are his. I've put hinges on and I'll show you that working in a minute. Um, so that's uh, off Thingiverse, that's off Thingiverse. This is there's a chopping board I've just cut up. Um, Amazon meters or eBay meters, eBay switches. That's dimension uh, engineering. Um, uh, Sabretooth and their siren that's off eBay uh, with just the relays and stuff and I think the batteries from eBay as well um, I've also got uh, if I just pan round again it's still being still being built but I've mounted this will go on the back uh, the uh, uh, easy bead controller it's also going to uh, trigger um, I'll get this to trigger these 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 uh, relays so the whole thing can be uh, remotely turned on uh, that ultimately that'd be the that be the plan so I can actually turn it on um, via software uh, as long as the master switches are up then I can then turn it on and off um, with logic uh, I haven't done any of that wiring at the moment also I've just um, I have actually started putting some voice commands in just to start up and down uh, to start and uh, connect and disconnect the uh, easy B unit I so. want temp connection of EZB device zero. Colin is very excited. So that's now connected. We're online and I'll put in. Okay, here we go. Disconnecting Wi Fi connection to your device. Colin says goodbye for now. So I've got those in. And I'll also, um, as I say, we'll be chatting with the whole thing, we'll chat away. But uh, so that's disconnected. I'm going to down power uh, and I'll show you a bit more about this. Is slightly uh, over over wired at the moment, or uh, temporarily wired rather. Just because I've got uh, rather than um, the whole thing, will, as I mentioned, it will be dual voltage. But at the moment, I've just got a single voltage, so I've just got some uh, temporary cabling going on there at the, on these just to join up the various different buses. Um, that's going to have a switch on it there. But what will be going on? Well, I'll, I'll run you through the back here. We've got. I've given myself a. Um, as I say, these these are just temporary. The, these I've bought off um, Amazon. I think these these uh, four web boards, which you can these four web screw down terminals, which you can bust together. So we've got a battery bus plus there, uh, a switched plus there. So that's after the main the incoming switch. Uh, this is the back of the current shunt. Those cables go off to the meter. Um, we've got a common bus there, or zero volts. Uh, and this this isn't bus together, these that so these are just joiners. These are actually doing the relays, um, 12 volts at the moment, keeping them separate because some are going to be 24 volt. Uh, that's uh, common for the relays. Uh, these these are going off to the um, via the relays uh, off to the, the motor boards, uh, so that's the fatter wire there. Uh, any, anything driving uh, uh, power, uh, the motors is on the, on the, on the um, I think this is uh, whatever that is, it's uh, six mil I think that is, something like that. I've got, I've got all the, uh, the cable sizes and these are obviously just data wires, but I've got, if you see it from the side, it's actually multi-layered, so, um, the switches just poke through. I might change, uh, it does give me the op option to actually change this because I've slightly uh, put the switches in the wrong position, not really left enough to get a label on there, but I don't know. I'm going to make that a bigger switch as well, so it's easy to take apart and they're just off uh, standoffs in there at the moment, or they will really be on standoffs. Um, the back of them goes through there, so I just cut out that slot there. We could obviously have it deeper. Um, so that's just cabling inside there. You can see, as I say, that's the back of the uh, relay and uh, fuse boards there. Those two odd cables there are going to go to the tr uh, 24 to 12 volt. That's why they're just on a. Uh, that's why they're just on a chop lock at the moment because there's no uh, converter which will sit inside somewhere. Um, this ultimately will sit on the top there, so all that cable will disappear. Well, that's the plan, isn't it? So it's going to be like it's going to be like that, and these cables are going to go through there. 
don't know if, if I keep that switch on or use one of the switches on the front. So there's a, quite a few, you know, idea, um, things, uh, it's a work in practice. But, uh, and it needs a bit of a tidy up. But it works as a sort of an assembly. It's a bit, bit deep. Um, but it does mean I can change it uh, and change the elements of it and get to it and stuff. So that's that. I'll show you how it mounts on the uh, on the uh, R two D two. So just bear with me a few minutes. Okay, here. So uh, it's here's the board mounted in the back of the R two D two. It's still um, I've still got to work on the sort of cable management because the cables uh, are getting all in the way. But the idea being is on a hinge, so it will swing out. But uh, it's it's just jamming on a few bits and pieces at the moment. So, uh, but it it. Uh, when I've finished it, it will swing out. Um, I've just got it temporarily connected to the battery, so that should just start up. And you can just hear the easy B kick in, and I can connect to that. I will attempt connection of easy B device zero. Colin is very excited. I'll just. Uh, so as I say, we've got the, the power meter there, got hinges in there, um, but I do need to work at uh, all of this. It is quite deep, so I, this may be a complete version one, and <laughs> I might change the whole thing. But uh, at least it gets it, um, gives me something to work from at the moment. So uh, that's the power. Uh, so once I've finished you know, getting all that working, I can mount the, the, the feet on the machine and um, get him to drive around a little bit, and we'll see how he goes. Um, so that's where I am at the moment.